Capricorn, welcome to your weekly forecast from the Cosmic Tarot. <laughs> this is your general reading for the week beginning October 19th. So, love, money, career. All right, so let's get started. Hey, by the way, thank you, thank you for subscribing, liking, and adding comments to the video. Apparently, that helps YouTube try the new channel. Really appreciate that. So if it does resonate with you, add a comment. If you thought I was funny, well, the spirits coming across were a little snarky, add a like. And subscribe if you want to be kept in form of future videos. All right, so, oh, thanks, spirit. So for those of you, if this is your first time, I do channel messages from spirit. And not only do I have a bunch of my own spirits to hang out, some of those people who are guided to these readings, there was, are coming across, which has been quite interesting, actually. Some of them laugh, some of them cry, some of them push me, some of them are pushy, some of them sing. I even had another one, another guy, he's smoking a cigar the other day. It was really weird. Anyway, so just know that we're never alone. Okay. Alrighty, let's see what we have for Capricorn. Okay, somebody's walking away from a stressful situation. Let's see what we got. Okay. Nice. Okay, so Capricorn. First, we have the Eight of Cups, and let's just take a real quick look at this. So we have the Eight of Cups, and this is, you see all these cups, and they've got tons of tons of stuff here? Well, honey, the wine just doesn't taste any sweet in these, and they're kind of just walking away from what would seem on the outside to be the per a good situation, but they're not finding that satisfaction there. So they're walking away um, from a situation internally, the uh, situation is actually pretty stressful, uh, and it's been blown out of proportion. So they're trying to find a way to walk away without all that fallback on you, all right? You want to walk away to a better outcome, good fortune, uh, good self-expression, and that's why I see you moving this way is somehow diplomatically you're you're able to do it without without it falling all back on you as the um, the person at fault because um, I see these better outcomes better fortune new opportunities in work and relationships better communication better self expression here towards midweek I see opportunities to celebrate uh, new partnerships I see the I. I you know, this always represents marriage, but in this case, um, I see more of a marriage of the minds than a physical marriage this week. I see, uh, but partnerships growing. I see remodeling projects for some of you. Some of you are getting rewards for completing projects. And I see the page and the page of cups. It's all about the bearer of good news, the bearer uh, times of creativity, times of creation. You see the fish? So the fish in the cup cr really represents creating something. So I see, I see creation coming here out this week, and I see victory. I see the ability for happy times, happy feelings, accomplishments, succeeding in your goals this week. So... Although it might be a little stressful at the beginning of the week, you'll be sighing towards the end uh, with a project well done, a succession um, succeeding on the, on the project front. Okay, so let's see what we have here in the card. Okay, we have, okay, St. Germain is saying work your magic. So... Really, what this card represents is the power to resolve situations. And here's that conflict that we were talking about, right? Um, using this untapped magical ability, uh, successfully uh, having that in your arsenal, having that in your little toolbox, um, and 
and being able to pull that ability out of storage when you need to, to work your magic and clear focused intentions, positive expectations come out of this, uh, and steps to take action in order to resolve the situation, manifest the desire. So you've got a lot of positive things this week, Capricorn. Um, we know you're not accepting the situation. That's getting from one of the spirits is kind of tapping me. He goes, yeah, but this isn't acceptable to me. I, we, I know. It's not acceptable. And you shouldn't have to deal with that. But let me put this in perspective for you. As spirit helps me put this in words. No curse words, spirit. Come on. Um, let me rephrase what spirit is telling me. Whoever's guide this is. <sighs> When somebody acts unkindly to toward a situation, it's never directed at you. It's a reaction to what they're going through in their personal life. So, for example, let's say someone's acting like a butthead. And yes, I changed the word, spirit. Let's say they're acting like a butthead and they're causing all this drama, drama, drama and all this BS and stress and nonsense. You don't know. They could have somebody in the hospital with COVID right now, and they didn't tell you. They could be going through some really horrific thing on the home front, and they have not saying. So when we look at this situation with compassion and we open up our own toolbox and lead with compassion and empathy, not asking them their private business because it's none of our business, but just leading with love and transmuting all that negativity and channeling all the positivity to fix the situation, our hearts are lighter, our minds are lighter, and everything is lighter. And that's where we have our success. Okay, Capricorn, it's been a pleasure talking to you this week. And I appreciate all the likes, the subscriptions, and the comments. So thank you again for allowing me to take a few minutes of your time with my new channel and this video. We'll see you next time. Take care.